Brothers and sisters, it is now time to recite the five mindfulness trainings. Five mindfulness trainings represent the Buddhist vision for a global spirituality and ethic. They are a concrete expression of the Buddhist teachings on the Four Noble Truths and the Noble Eightfold Path, the path of right understanding and true love, leading to healing, transformation and happiness for ourselves and for the world. To practice the five mindfulness trainings is to cultivate the inside of interbeing or right view, which can remove all discrimination, intolerance, anger, fear, and despair. If we live according to the five mindfulness trainings, we are already on the path of a bodhisattva. Knowing we are on that path, we are not lost in confusion about our life in the present or in fears about the future. the community to listen with a serene mind. Consider the mindfulness trainings as a clear mirror in which to look at ourselves. Say yes silently every time you see that during the past month you have made an effort to study, practice and observe the mindfulness training read. First mindfulness training, reverence for life. Aware of the suffering caused by the destruction of life, I am committed to cultivating the inside of inner being and compassion and learning ways to protect the lives of people, animals, plants and minerals. I am determined not to kill, not to let others kill, not to support any act of killing in the world, in my thinking or in my way of life. Seeing that harmful actions arise from anger, fear, greed and intolerance, which in turn come from dualistic and discriminative thinking, I will cultivate openness, non-discrimination and non-attachment to views in order to transform violence, fanaticism and dogmatism in myself and in the world. This is the first of the five mindfulness trainings. Have you made an effort to study, practice and observe it during the past month?
the second mindfulness training, true happiness. Aware of the suffering caused by exploitation, social injustice, stealing and oppression. I am committed to practicing generosity in my thinking, speaking and acting. I am determined not to steal and not to possess anything that should belong to others. And I will share my time, energy and material resources with those who are in need. I will practice looking deeply to see that the happiness and suffering of others are not separate from my own happiness and suffering. That true happiness is not possible without understanding and compassion. And that running after wealth, fame, power and sensual pleasures can bring much suffering and despair. I am aware that happiness depends on my mental attitude and not on external conditions, and that I can live happily in the present moment simply by remembering that I already have more than enough conditions to be happy. I am committed to practicing right livelihood so that I can help reduce the suffering of living beings on earth, stop contributing to climate change, and heal and preserve our precious planet. This is the second of the five mindfulness trainings. Have you made an effort to study, practice and observe it during the past month? Third mindfulness training, true love. Aware of the suffering caused by sexual misconduct, I am committed to cultivating responsibility and learning ways to protect the safety and integrity of individuals, couples, families and society. Knowing that sexual desire is not love, and that sexual activity, motivated by craving, always harms myself as well as others. I am determined not to engage in sexual relations without true love and a deep, long-term commitment made known to my family and friends. I will do everything in my power to protect children from sexual abuse and to prevent couples and families from being broken by sexual misconduct. Seeing that body and mind are one, I am committed to learning appropriate ways to take care of my sexual energy and cultivating loving kindness, compassion, joy and inclusiveness, which are the four basic elements of true love, for my greater happiness and the greater happiness of others. Practicing true love, we know that we will continue beautifully into the future. This is a third of the five mindfulness trainings. Have you made an effort to study, practice and observe it during the past month? The fourth mindfulness training, loving speech and deep listening. Aware of the suffering caused by unmindful speech and the inability to listen to others, I am committed to cultivating loving speech and compassionate listening in order to relieve suffering and to promote reconciliation and peace in myself 
and among other people, ethnic and religious groups, and nations. Knowing that words can create happiness or suffering, I am committed to speaking truthfully, using words that inspire confidence, joy, and hope. When anger is manifesting in me, I am determined not to speak. I will practice mindful breathing and walking in order to recognize and to look deeply into my anger. I know that the roots of anger can be found in my wrong perceptions and lack of understanding of the suffering in myself and in the other person. I will speak and listen in a way that can help myself and the other person to transform suffering and see the way out of difficult situations. I am determined not to spread news that I do not know to be certain and not to utter words that can cause division or discord. I will practice right diligence to nourish my capacity for understanding, love, joy and inclusiveness and gradually transform anger, violence and fear that lie deep in my consciousness. This is the fourth of the five mindfulness trainings. Have you made an effort to study, practice and observe it during the past month? The fifth mindfulness training, nourishment and healing. Aware of the suffering caused by unmindful consumption, I am committed to cultivating good health, both physical and mental, for myself, my family and my society by practicing mindful eating, drinking and consuming. I will practice looking deeply into how I consume the four kinds of nutriments, namely edible foods, sense impressions, volition and consciousness. I am determined not to gamble or to use alcohol, drugs or any other products which contain toxins, such as certain websites, electronic games, TV programs, films, magazines, books, and conversations. I will practice coming back to the present moment to be in touch with the refreshing, healing and nourishing elements in me and around me, not letting regrets and sorrow drag me back into the past, nor letting anxieties, fear, or craving pull me out of the present moment. I am determined not to try to cover up loneliness, anxiety, or other suffering by losing myself in consumption. I will contemplate in her being and consume in a way that preserves peace, joy and well-being in my body and consciousness and in the collective body and consciousness of my family, my society and the earth. This is the fifth of the five mindfulness trainings. Have you made an effort to study, practice and observe it during the past month? Brothers and sisters, we have recited the five mindfulness trainings, the foundation of happiness for the individual, the family and society. We should recite them regularly 
so that our study and practice of the mindfulness trainings can deepen day by day. Thank you.